Girl, Beyonce's family is not letting up on Jay-Z one bit. Her sister Solange and her mom Tina have their feet firmly planted on his neck and it looks like they are not planning on moving it anytime soon. They're really going all out to expose him and it's been just a few days since Solange called him out for being a manipulator and blackballing his rivals in the industry. Now she and Tina are dropping bombshells about his infidelity and let me tell you, it's not just once or twice. They're accusing him of cheating on Beyonce a whopping 12 times. Mr. Sean Carter has apparently been getting around Hollywood. Solange and Tina are playing no games when it comes to Jay-Z, and we can't help but wonder why they've got such a vendetta against him. They've got receipts for days on his affairs, and let me tell you, this tea is piping hot. But hold on to your wigs and weaves, because this revelation is taking things to a whole new level. Did Jay-Z really go as far as to silence one of his mistresses to protect Beyonce? Now that's a twist we didn't see coming. Okay, so at this point, it's starting to look like Beyonce's family is tired of her marriage to Jay-Z, and they are trying to bust her out because girl, they've been leaking receipts about the marriage and spilling tea about how messed up the situation is behind the scenes. At first, it was Solange dragging Jay-Z and revealing some messy things about him. I mean, it's crystal clear by now that Solange has a serious beef with Jay-Z. I mean, we kind of sensed it before, but lately, it's been glaringly obvious. Solange has been going all out to call out Jay-Z, especially in recent weeks. She's been on a roll, talking about him left and right, and it doesn't seem like she's letting up anytime soon. The rumor mill suggests that Solange and Tina have reached their limit with Jay-Z's antics and have been pushing Beyonce to call it quits. But let's face it, Beyonce's not exactly itching to end things with her hubby, which is why they are now going over and beyond to expose Jay-Z. It's like they're trying to guilt Beyonce into ditching the marriage or something. Some of you might think that Solange and Tina going about it all wrong because, let's be real, airing out your sister and daughter's husband's dirty laundry is pretty awkward. But hey, maybe they figure that it's the only way to finally get Beyonce to walk away for good. I mean, y'all have seen Solange pull up on Jay-Z in that elevator where she put her hands on him because she found out that he was messing with another person after the Met Gala? Solange and Tina are now on a mission to make sure everyone knows they're not messing around when it comes to their feelings about Jay-Z. Lately, they have been going to great lengths to shine a light on Jay-Z's true colors, hoping Beyonce would finally see the light and leave him. One of their boldest moves was backing singer Maya in exposing Jay-Z's alleged attempt to cheat on Beyonce with her. According to the tea spilled, Jay-Z supposedly tried to get cozy with Maya, but when she shut him down, he reportedly used his influence to sabotage her career. In case you missed the drama, Maya collaborated with Jay-Z on the remix of her song, Best of Me. One of the producers spilled the beans, saying Jay-Z felt slighted because he thought Maya wasn't grateful enough for his feature on her track. The producer said, So Jay came to the studio that night at the hit factory. He got it right away, he understood what it was, but he didn't like Maya's vibe in the room. He looked at her like she was a spoiled brat because she was. Jay looked at her like, I'm about to rap on your record, you're about to have a hit, and I don't think you really appreciate it. The producer claimed that Jay-Z then stormed out of the studio, after which people in the studio said to Maya, Yo Mia, Jay wants to do the record, but he feels like you're not even giving him any love, like no thank you or none of that. And just when you thought the drama had settled, Jay-Z returned to the studio and Maya found herself having to play nice with him again. Reports from back then suggested that Jay-Z made some moves on Maya, but she shut him down and that apparently got him all riled up. The producers even tried to spin the narrative, painting Maya as the ungrateful one for not showering Jay-Z with thanks for his feature. But the saga didn't end there. Fast forward to 2014, when when the infamous Jay-Z and Solange elevator showdown shook the world. Suddenly, rumors started swirling about Jay-Z's alleged infidelity, and guess who got pulled back into the spotlight? You guessed it, Maya! People started pointing fingers at her, accusing her of being Jay-Z's secret fling. And let me tell you, things went from bad to worse when Beyonce dropped her Lemonade album. Maya found herself smack dab in the middle of it all, accused of being the mysterious Becky with the good hair. Talk about getting caught in the crossfire. She was dragged so hard that she eventually had to come out to deny the allegations. A fan on Instagram asked her, Heard you and Jay-Z had an 11-year affair. Are you his side chick or nah? And Maya quickly fired back, Never did, never was, never will. She also wrote, I play second to no one, pay my own bills, have my own label, own management company, rely on God only, and respect myself and marriage too much for nonsense. Maya also had an interview with Vlad TV, where she revealed that her career was held back because she refused to give in to the pressures that she faced from a certain person in the industry. Did you say so guarded within your career? This is what I did. I said, no, I'm good, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, so, 
Sometimes that doesn't translate as far as what you are allowed to have, what you have access to. You will be blackballed. You will be talked about. You will be shit on. You will be rumored about. But you have to stand strong on what you don't care for. It's not that serious to me, you know, if I have to sell my soul. I understand that I might have sacrificed something in the physical world, but the spiritual world is not worth it. You're okay. You don't need to do anything. What you need to do is protect every part of your life, your spirit especially, because everything else is connected to that, you know. There are some, there are some people, <laughs> not everyone, that have huge egos, you know, and awful mindsets towards men, towards women, towards people. And it's very difficult to be around. It's just very difficult. And the way they mm -hmm. define success is not your idea of success. So Miss Tina is dropping bombs left and right, alleging that Jay-Z not only had an affair with Maya, but also flipped out on her when she tried to back out, leading to her getting blackballed. She probably thought she had dealt a decisive blow when she exposed Jay-Z for sabotaging Maya, but when that didn't shake things up as much as she'd hoped, she went all in, accusing him of cheating on Beyonce from the get-go. But before we dive into those cheating allegations, Tina let slip that there's a lot more to Jay-Z and Beyonce's story than meets the eye. Like, did you know they actually met when Beyonce was 15 or 16, not 18 like the media often claims? Well, there's this old interview from the depths of the internet. Back in 2007, Jay-Z told Charlie Rose that he and Beyonce met 10 years ago, placing their meeting in 1997, meaning that Beyonce would have been around 16. If Beyonce was indeed 16 at the time, well, you do the math. The idea of Jay-Z in his late 20s pursuing a teenager is sketchy at best. Now, according to Tina, one of Jay-Z's first flings outside of his relationship with Beyonce was with singer Charlie Baltimore. If you were tuned in back then, you might have caught wind of the rumors swirling around Charlie and Jay-Z cozying up behind Beyonce's back. So let's rewind a bit. For those who don't know who Charlie Baltimore is or how she was tied to Jay-Z, Charlie Baltimore had a long history with her being in a relationship with Notorious B.I.G. back in the day and even being the first lady on the Murder, Inc. label. According to Tina, Jay-Z was stepping out with Charlie in the early days of his relationship with Beyonce, just a few months in. It's kind of wild how Jay-Z had the Beyonce all to himself, but he was still cheating on her. Seriously, what do these men even want? But somewhere along the line, Charlie had had enough of playing second fiddle to Beyonce and being a side piece, so she decided to cut ties with Jay-Z. You'd think Jay-Z would take the hint and leave her alone, right? Especially considering he was with Beyonce. But nope, Jay-Z didn't take it lightly. Instead, he got all worked up when Charlie moved on with another man. Remember that time Jay-Z got caught up in a club stabbing? Yeah, that one. He claimed it was because the producer was bootlegging his album. Volume 3, Life and Times of S. Carter, and selling pirated copies, but Tina is calling BS on that story. According to her, the real reason behind the stabbing was Jay-Z's jealousy over Charlie moving on. Getting heated over your ex-fling finding someone new when you're dating the Beyonce is plain sinister cause what on earth? But Tina wasn't just making stuff up. Rapper Cameron chimed in, backing her up and confirming that the stabbing incident was indeed over Charlie. Crazy, right? It wasn't over no money. It wasn't over being righteous. What was it over? A chick? What we don't do mm. is we don't with our homies' ex mm. Bow! You feel me? You know who that is now, right? He said bow. Charlie Baltimore. There you go. <laughs> if you thought Jay-Z's cheating escapades ended with Charlie and Maya, well, think again. Turns out he set his sights on Aaliyah while he was still with Beyonce, but before they went public with their relationship. And to make things even more complicated, his buddy and business partner Dame Dash also had a thing for Aaliyah at the time. Now you'd think with Jay-Z dating Beyonce and Dame crushing on Aaliyah, Jay-Z would have taken a step back, right? Wrong. According to Tina, he didn't back off one bit. This wasn't just some passing crush either. Jay-Z was apparently head over heels for Aaliyah. And I'm not talking about your run-of-the-mill crush here. This was full-blown obsession territory. Jay-Z's infatuation with Aaliyah ended up driving a wedge between him and Dame Dash. When the dust settled, Dame spilled the tea, revealing that Jay-Z's intense crush on Aaliyah was the reason behind their falling out. Apparently, Jay-Z wanted Aaliyah so badly that he couldn't handle seeing her with Dame instead of him. Talk about drama tearing friendships apart. Dame spilled the beans, revealing that he and Jay-Z went from brothers to rivals, all because of their intense 
competition for Aliyah's affection. They were both vying for her attention, fully aware that they were in a showdown against each other. Predictably, the jealousy began to simmer, leading to a bitter feud between them. But then we ran into each other. It's a long story. <laughs> so you and Jay was both getting at Aaliyah, obviously. Everybody was getting at Everybody was getting at Aaliyah, bro. Right. She was like, she was like, you know, she'll go to dinner with a but she wasn't going to just be smashing. So that was like the big deal, like who could get with Aaliyah. But here's where things get spicy. Aaliyah started leaning more towards Dame, and Jay-Z, being the competitive guy he is, couldn't handle it. Fast forward to a 4th of July bash, and Aaliyah and Dame Dash decided to take their relationship up a notch. Well, let's just say Jay-Z found out about it, and he was livid. <laughs> so you know this is going to be hard for me, because he was like, because he was throwing, because, you know, because, like, you know, his friends were laughing at him. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. I might have a f***ed up question since we're talking about Aaliyah <laughs> and, and ignore me if it's too much, but do you have any opinion on the Art Kelly situation? Do you think he got railroaded or he he's there, he's where he belongs? Jaguar Wright chimed in, backing Dame's story and alleging that Jay-Z sought revenge by sabotaging Dame and selling out their business partnership, all because Dame got the girl. I think everybody that knows Sean Carter knows that he will slump anyone in any relationship for a dollar. Look at how he did Dane. Like, I don't give a f if you wanted to get away from your homie, if you wanted to get away from your partner, but to do it the way he did it, it's malicious. But maybe that was because he was the girl that didn't want you. So just like with Charlie, Jay-Z didn't take losing Aaliyah well, even though he was with one of the most sought after women in the world, Beyonce. Seriously, Jay-Z, according to Tina, there were more women in the mix, including former Rockefeller artist Emile Whitehead. In case you need a refresher, she was the first female rapper signed to Rockefeller Records and even hit the road with Jay-Z on his Hard Knock Life tour. What makes this all the more twisted is that Jay-Z had Emile in the studio collaborating with Beyonce on songs while allegedly carrying on an affair with her behind the scenes. Yeah, pretty shady stuff. It's not clear when or why the affair fizzled out, but from what it sounds like, Emil wasn't the one pulling the plug. In a 2011 interview, it seemed like she still had feelings for Jay-Z. She said, I haven't spoken to Jay in years, but I really wish I could talk to him because that would just really bring closure to me. But he knows I love him, she says. People think there was bad blood between us, but there never was any bad blood. Things happened and I wasn't ready for where my career was going at that time. It was really overwhelming. If you thought we were done with the affair, talk, buckle up, because we're just getting started. Tina isn't playing games when it comes to airing out Jay-Z's laundry, and she's not holding back. In fact, Solange might have one or two things to learn when it comes to exposing Jay-Z properly, because Miss Tina is ruthless. The next name on Tina's list is Kathy Coriana White, a name that stirred up quite the scandal. Around 2010 and 2011, whispers of Kathy being involved with Jay-Z spread like wildfire. The rumors hit fever pitch when she was spotted partying with Jay-Z and Diddy at a club. Those club sightings seemed to validate the affair rumors, and let me tell you, the tabloids had a field day. What made it even messier was that this all went down just days after Beyonce announced her pregnancy with Blue Ivy. Jay-Z got dragged through the mud for allegedly stepping out on Beyonce while she was pregnant with his child, and the tabloids were eager to get Kathy's side of the story. But here's where things take a sinister turn. Kathy passed away less than 24 hours after those party pictures hit the internet. To add fuel to the fire, her social media accounts vanished after her death, fueling speculation that she was silenced. People were quick to point fingers at Jay-Z, suggesting he may have had a hand in her demise. But let's be clear, no evidence was ever found to support these rumors, and it all remains hearsay. Still, it's one heck of a scandalous tale. No one could deny that Kathy's death raised eyebrows. The initial autopsy report suggested she died from a head wound, but a second report stated she had an aneurysm. Now, aneurysms can indeed strike unexpectedly, but the drastic change in the cause of death raised its suspicion. Going from a physical wound to an aneurysm? Yeah, that's definitely definitely sketchy as heck. Then we also have Claudia Sheelan, the Belgian beauty queen, who also kinda sorta admitted that she had a leal something something with Jay-Z. According to Claudia, I was with my girlfriends and he sent over a drink to us. He had this huge bottle of Ace of Spades champagne. It must have been six or 10 liters. He told me, I've been all over the entire world, but the girls in Antwerp are the prettiest girls. Claudia didn't delve into the specifics of what went down between her and Jay-Z, but she dropped hints suggesting they got intimate, noting that he didn't mention Beyonce or 
or their daughter, Blue, throughout their night together. Now let's talk about another familiar face in the industry, Teaira Mari. The twist in Teaira's alleged affair with Jay-Z is that Beyonce reportedly got wind of it and put a stop to it. You might recall Jay-Z's claim that he dropped Teaira from the label due to poor album performance? Well, according to the grapevine, that was a big fat lie. Allegedly, it all stemmed from a messy affair gone sour. According to a juicy blind item, the tangled web began with L.A. Reid allegedly having an affair with Teaira. Then, supposedly, he passed her along to Ray J, who allegedly handed her off to Jay-Z. Talk about a scandalous game of musical chairs. Told you before, Aaliyah was essayed as a minor by several producers and was treated like a piece of meat to be bought and sold by different producers up until the time that she passed away. A couple of years after she passed away, a fairly large record producer started making some calls about a singer he had working out of his studio. She was 15 and eager, and soon, different label heads were scouting her. And this is allegedly Tierra Marie. Soon, she was sold to this pseudo corn star and celebrity sibling. You can also take a guess at that one. He loves controlling vulnerable women. It is his specialty. Anyway, he started controlling the career of this singer. He brought her to the attention of this A-plus list rapper and mogul, allegedly Jay-Z. And he signed her to a deal. By the time all of the ink was dry, she was just shy of being legal. This whole saga is a twisted roller coaster, especially considering Teaira wasn't even 18 yet at the time. But wait, because the plot thickens even more. See, Ray J and Teaira went public with their romance in 2006, not long after she got the boot from Jay-Z. She was 18 and he was 25 then, but rumors swirled that their connection might have started before she reached legal age. Now, here's where things start to get fishy. Teaira was reportedly working on her second album after the drama of her day. Debut. But hold on a second, if her first album was such a flop that it led to her being dropped from the label, why would Jay-Z even consider giving her another shot? Something doesn't add up here and the mystery deepens. According to a blind item, forget about album sales and chart positions because the real reason for Teira's exit allegedly stemmed from a love triangle that could rival any reality TV show. Rumor has it that Ray J wanted Teira all to himself and jealousy brewed behind the scenes when whispers of Jay-Z getting cozy with Teira reached Ray J's ears. But but wait, there's more drama. Queen Bey herself, Beyonce, supposedly caught wind of this alleged affair and wasn't having it. Allegedly, she demanded Jay-Z cut ties with Tiira completely. Talk about a tangled web of scandal and intrigue. He signed her to a deal. By the time all of the ink was dry, she was just shy of being legal. But that didn't stop the mogul. He liked to sample the new talent. He was sampling her on a fairly regular basis, but he was also involved with the current a plus list singer who was in his face every day. And this could allegedly be Beyonce. Corn star in charge of her career was feuding with the mogul and told the mogul he would not be allowed to hook up with the singer again. I assume he thought the mogul would think she was something special. Apparently not as special as the current a plus lister because the new signee was dropped and the word was put out on the street. No record deals for her from any label. When someone ignored the edict, they were paid a visit. If the visits were ignored, then other steps were taken. This was a total lockdown of a career that lasted almost a decade. As the boss lady she's known to be, Beyonce allegedly wasn't about to tolerate that drama. Her solution? It wasn't just about dropping Tiaira from the label. Oh no, Beyonce reportedly went full Hollywood mastermind mode and blacklisted her from the entire industry. That's right, folks. Jay-Z's move allegedly ensured Tiaira wouldn't be working with anyone ever again. Talk about taking things to the extreme. Interestingly, Miss Tina left this part out probably because she didn't want to make her daughter look bad. This whole ordeal is beyond nasty and messy, let me tell you. But then again, Jay-Z's infidelity shouldn't come as a shocker, considering he's openly admitted to it himself. He even went so far as to make an entire album about it, raking in millions. You've got to hand it to him. The man knows how to turn his personal life into a lucrative business venture. Well, fans left comments saying, I believe Jay-Z's smarter than the rest, as well as Jay-Z has a close relationship with high power companies and people. The reason Jay-Z's deeds have been kept out of the public. Yes, I believe that the boy who Javz refuses to take DNA is his son, and they say his mom was underage when Jay-Z got her pregnant. I believe everything Jaguar Wright is saying. And it's pretty disgusting. What Jay-Z allegedly did to Tiara Marie, Rihanna, Aaliyah, and even Beyonce is sick. Obviously, R. Kelly was not alone. I think everybody that knows Sean Carter knows that he will slump anyone in any relationship for a dollar. Look at how he did Dane. Like, I don't give a f if you wanted to get away from your homie, if you wanted to get away from your partner, but to do it the way he did it, 
It's malicious. But maybe that was because he was the girl that didn't want you. Chile Tina is messy AF, but she's not done because she claims to still have some hard proof of Jay-Z being messy AF and more receipts of him cheating. But in the meantime, y'all drop your thoughts about this in the comments, then check out this next video.